Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another video. Still showing off the Hack the Vote CTF Capture the Flag competition that was going on this past weekend, uh, November 4th to November 6th. Uh, I didn't solve a, a whole ton of challenges, and I'm uh, recording these videos in advance, so it is still Saturday. Although, I want to show off next this 150-point uh, forensics question. It got a lot of solves, 290, because uh, it wasn't extremely difficult. It just took a little bit of scripting. Um, so, uh, the challenge is called Warp Speed, and it says, Our Trump advertising campaign is incredible. It's skyrocketing. It's astronomical, weight slow down, etc. Uh, so, we get this file, Warp Speed. <laughs> and it's a JPEG image, and it's crazy, jumbled up, and, and, and messed up. So, I see clear text here, I, I, I see the word Trump, and I don't know what stuff is over on the side here, and I'm curious what all uh, this 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 is, although I think I see, like, the beginning letters F-L-A-G for flag, so this, we clearly have to be able to, like, decipher this in, in, in some way, so... What I'm going to end up doing is going ahead and uh, starting to script this solution. I admittedly have already solved this because I have the flag and that's why I'm recording this write-up. But I want to just showcase the code that I wrote, the simple Python stuff that I that I whipped out. So I won't go into too much depth as to how I ended up like viewing all of this. Although admittedly I just like opened it in color paint and tried to view the widths and heights and... Uh, mentally piece together what has been done to the image. But anyway, let's just create a hack the vote uh, directory. Uh, we'll get in there and we'll make directory for warp speed, and then we'll save this image totally in there. Uh, hack the vote warp speed. And I'm just going to call this uh, warp speed.jpg. I'm going to remove the hash in here. Cool. So now let's start up uh, sublime text. And I'm going to create a new script in my hack the vote warp speed ape.python and I'll zoom in a bit so you can actually see this stuff throw my shebang line as usual and hopefully I can whip this stuff out so I use python's imaging library python image library pill and all I actually need from it is the uh, image portion and I go ahead and open the thing warp speed.jpg. This should be um, capital image, and I'll just call it image. Okay. And admittedly, while I was checking out the file in color paint, that's not color paint, I saw all of the bars, for one thing, are shifted. It ha they're offset, like, e e each row is offset by about each, okay, so each row is 8 pixels high for one thing. I saw that by putting in grid mode and examining each, like, section. You can see just down at the bottom I've selected about 8. I don't know if you can barely see that. And it the, they've all been, like, rolled to the left. So I ended up, like, assuming if I take this, like, 32 times... I'm sorry, I take this 500, like, with image rolled about eight times for each one. I went through about 32 iterations of it. So I did a for loop here. And I ended up cropping each like portion, cropping each section. I should just call it a region. And I did image crop starting from the very left, going from that eight width pixel high in each like 32 or like the multiplication iteration of how far I'm going, and then I got the entire image, which the width was about a thousand. And again, I did the next portion of that that height eight, and then I just I multiplied it by one here. So I got that box. It got each region, the eight bit portion, and it shifts it over. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to move that onto. roll it back out and paste it backwards pretty much again I'm just using eight times I to index each call or each each row eight times I and eight times I plus one because we want to move on to the next row so so now I want to check out that image or see what we have so far I'll run this and I can't really zoom in that well, 
but hopefully you can see that, okay, now Trump is aligned and the November 28th uh, or whatever that actually is supposed to say is, is put together. And now I notice, again, I can't zoom in on this, I'm sorry, uh, but it looks like they're, they're kind of shuffled. Like each column has now been shuffled a little bit. I see like the start of a curly brace beginning here and the next end of a curly brace on the other side. I see this start of an end at the very top here on the right is missing on the left. It's like each one of them has been shuffled in an alternating order. And you, you, cause you see this pattern going back and forth throughout it. So then I whipped out some quick, another, another strange kind of loop to, uh, to put those together. And the width of the image now is still a thousand. So since there are two of them and I'm trying to just jam them together, I ended up creating a like 500 by 500 image. So I do that here. I call it image two. Gosh, I should learn to type. And again, I just said I use 500 by 500 image. And I alternated through those 32 rows again, uh, but I just use like a, a quick, and <laughs> again, this is the, the quick code that you write during a CTF. I determined that I was using like a first half by a, like a Boolean, and I did this by uh, for I in range 64 this time here. Actually, I think it was, it was Q. I did like yeah, I use an I and a Q. I like use a while loop because I wanted to keep track of two different variables at the same time. So while I is less than 64, what I ended up doing was I would determine, okay, is this the first half? Is my thing still true? And I grab the region again, image.crop. This time, again, the 0, 8 times the row, or the column that I'm actually looking at. Sorry, the row, I should, I should say. Again, 500 being my width, and I get the height of it being or my Y2 in this case being eight times it, etc. I do an else in case it's not, because I'm alternating with every iteration, so I'll toggle that first half Boolean value, and I go from the 500 end, because when it's, when it's you know, X2, or X, X1, X2 for these values. You can check out the documentation for um, image.crop if you need to, but it just takes an X1, X2, Y1, Y2 for the, the section or the, the selection that's actually trying to crop out. And region is the variable that I end up creating. And then we just paste it onto the queue that we're working through each time, which I just use to index each individual row since now they're being combined, you know? Again, I'm just putting them all in one. That's why I only go from zero to 500 for the X values. And now my Q iterates after each row that I do, after, after I've determined what the region is. And I'll toggle that first half variable so it alternates each row as I, as I go through it. And now we should be able to image two dot show because that's the one that we've started to work with. And this is uh, somewhat readable. I would again try to zoom in on this for you, but flag uh, elite photo skills. I'll, I'll save this so you can see it a little better. Winner. JPEG. Okay, so now we can get to our terminal and we can EOG winner once I'm in warp speed. Once I'm in warp speed. And I'll zoom in on this. Can I rotate it for you? Rotate. Clockwise. Dang it, I chose the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Now you can see flag 1337, like leet. Leet photo skills, SK1, or maybe... 1LL5, lead photo skills. And that's our flag to submit. Crazy! <laughs> Pretty disgusting Python code, uh, but again, it's the kind of thing that you whip out during a CTF. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, really, it was just two effects that I was trying to unwrap or unravel for the, for the get in the flag. That roll effect by offsetting each of the rows, and then that shuffled card effect since they're like alternated on one side to another. So...
Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.